Hello, welcome back. Thank you for being there. I was away for the summer. I resuming this this blog, this weekly blog, and thank you for your patience. Thank you for your presence. And today we'd like to talk about discipleship. And the concept of discipleship is not necessarily the most popular in liberal and progressive churches because it's often associated with uh, the idea of sufferance, of denial, maybe fanatism, even martyr, death. For example, in the Gospel according to Mark chapter 8, and if you allow me to bring my Bible, uh, verse 34. He called, Jesus, he called the crowd with his disciple and said to them, If any want to become my follower, uh, let them deny themselves and take up their cross and follow me. And for those who want to save their lives will lose it. And those who lose their life for my sake and for the sake of the gospel will save it. Taking, my cro taking your cross, uh, losing your life. Um, I don't know about you, but this is not necessarily appealing in this 21st century, in the Western Hemisphere. Uh, usually, I, well, I don't know many people which is part of our goal or objective for their life, you know, to be crucified, to take my cross. And, and this kind of language have brought some sort of, I would say, fear. An institution or a personal life because sometimes we said we hear that said well I'm not sure I want to commit to this I don't want to be sucked in if if I say yeah I want to go and then I will suck in and and I will to to, to make all those sacrifices and losing myself but maybe here what Jesus is trying to say that the message here is not about death as much about values. I, I prefer to see it as an invitation as an invitation to identify beliefs and values and finding a way to commit to them in our regular lives, in church, outside church, at work, everywhere. Everywhere we go, um, we have choices and sometimes our activities, our work, we feel there's a perfect alignment between our values and what we do. There's some sort of synchronicity where we volunteer what we buy at, school, at, the sh at, at the store or shop. But sometimes it's not always the case. Sometimes there might be a contradiction between what we are asked to do and our belief. Sometimes there's no possibilities to reconcile our values and our work or activities. And this is, these are very difficult choices. It's not easy. And somehow Jesus acknowledged it in this message by using the image of cross, which is maybe the ultimate place of to be uncomfortable if I may in a sense we're told if you really believe in something if it's really important to us we and when there's conflict potential conflict or contradiction it's an invitation to stick to our belief to our value even if it's not popular, even if it might not be the flavor of the month, even if it might put us at odd with some people. Discipleship is not about a popularity contest, but it's called to firmly believe in something for the right reason. And may be facing the consequence of it. If we believe in something and we do nothing once we confront it to a situation, of course, we will not be criticized in any way. 
but we will walk out of our beliefs and our, or our values. To do, and, and, and it's this invitation is not to do something because we would feel morally superior, that we could boost, that it would boast our ego, that we will earn a better place in heaven at Jesus' side. No, no. It's just a way to answer the call that we receive. Do the right thing for the right reason. That's what we are called to do as much as we could be. Understanding that no one is perfect. But at least we can try. At least we can have the courage to try. And I hope you will be able to experiment this. This week, this month. That you will find ways that your beliefs and your value will show in your life, in what we do, in what you say. That's it for today. I remain the lectionary man, Reverend Stéphane Vermette. Talk to you soon and take care of yourself. Bye-bye.